Gilmore Space is gearing up to be the first Australian space company to launch an orbital class rocket from Australian soil. The 25 meter tall Ares 1 rocket will launch from Gilmore Space's Bowen Orbital Spaceport located near Abbott Point in Queensland, Australia. Ares 1 is a three stage small sat launcher capable of putting up to 305 kg to a lower orbit and 215 kg to a sun synchronous orbit. It's a unique rocket as the first two stages use hybrid rocket motors, which are much easier and less complex than liquid engines, while also being much safer and more controllable than solid rocket motors. Four of Gilmore Space's serious hybrid rocket motors will power Eris's first stage, while the second stage will have one single hybrid rocket motor with a nozzle extension to be better optimized for the vacuum of space. The third stage will use a 3D printed liquid engine called Phoenix, which uses kerosene and liquid oxygen as its propellants. This launch will be historic for Australia. It will mark the first orbital rocket launch from Australia in over 50 years since the Black Arrow project which last flew on October 28 of 1971. It was a small launcher made in the United Kingdom that launched out of the Woomera Range complex in South Australia. Therefore, this will mark the first time an Australian-made rocket will launch from Australian soil. And to top it all off, if successful, this will make Ares the first rocket using hybrid rocket motors to successfully reach orbit in rocket history. Now the funniest thing about this launch is the payload. Falcon 9 carried a wheel of cheese as its first payload, so what did Gilmore decide to put on Ares for its first flight? Well, none other than the most Australian thing ever, a jar of Vegemite. Yep. That's right. As of recording, Gilmore Space is targeting no earlier than May 15 at 9.30 UTC for the opening of the launch window for Test Flight 1. And for more about upcoming small set launchers, check out my most recent deep dive video linked down here.